Hi, this is a demonstration of Elasticsearch graph functionality in XPack. Graph functionality helps us to see the relationships between entities. So let's get started. So for this demonstration, I'll be using the CentOS version 7 and Elasticsearch version 5.6.2. The data set I'll be using is the number of accepts between servers and the denies and the host names wherein we have server 1, 2, 3 as hosts and the response time between them and the servers, the app 0 to app 6 which are hosted on this particular host server 1, 2, 3 and the total number of uh, accepts and denies. So in my graph functionality, I'll be trying to see the relationships between the hosted servers and the services. The ingestion of the data set is seen in the machine learning single metrics job. For more information, you can just watch the video. Here we have the index selected over here and I'll just select two things. One is the host server 1, 2, 3 and the service which is app 0 to app 6. In this, when we highlight this and add it, we have the custom color depending on our requirements and we can change the icons of uh, the selected entities depending on our requirement. The number of max hop f is 5. That is the relationships between these two entities uh, is limited to only 5. If you require more, you can increase it. So let's uh, check what is the relationship between server 1 and the apps. So here we can see that server 1 is connected to so many apps and the thick broad line here defines the number of uh, uh, accepts and denies or the traffic between the servers and apps. More details can be seen here in the link summary between them and we can see that uh, app 0 to server 1 has least number of uh, replies. So I can see I can add more things as server 2 and uh, the graph keeps on adding the details this is how it will look like and uh, on the right hand top corner we have these functionalities wherein the first one is undo where you can just remove the server 3 functionality we just added and the next one is redo we can just add it back we have an expand section wherein if the things are merged together you can just click on expand and it expands for you we have a linkage between existing terms if you just link it comes in it comes closer to a link section wherein you can see it in a compact format but this is a bit cluttered wherein you can't see more details over here uh, so i'll just better undo it the next one is delete if you just click on this everything gets deleted i'll show you at the last the next one is blacklist for example if you don't want app 6 from this you can just click on app 6 which gets selected over here and just click on this and app 6 gets deleted blacklisted out and the next functionality is of uh, custom style selected vertices wherein you can change the colors of app 3 for example you can see that the colors are changing depending on our requirement and next one we have it as a drill down for example if you want to see more details of app 3 you can just click on app 3 and click on drill down and click on raw documents it will take you to the browser wherein it searches for the particular app 3 component and uh, the results are displayed only related to app 3 and you can see more details on it that is nothing but drill down and uh, pause and play run layout this keeps on moving if you want to just pause it you can just pause it away um, i told about this workspace deletion if you just click this everything gets deleted and you can start a new search so we have searched on server server 1, 2, 3 and uh, the relationships between apps. You can do the same way with app 0. And you can see that how many servers are linked to app and you can keep on adding those things depending on your requirements so that the graph keeps on building and you will get some great links between the apps and the servers so this was the demonstration on graphs thanks for watching the video